Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're tackling a subject that every aquarist has to deal with sometimes, phosphates. So what exactly are phosphates? In simple terms, they're a form of phosphorus, a nutrient that's essential for life. Think of them as plant food, and unfortunately, algae food too. In your aquarium, we're mostly talking about orthophosphates, which are a form of phosphates that plants love to munch on. They're not inherently bad, in fact a little bit is good for your plants to munch on, especially for planted tanks just like this. But you get too much and, well, that's where the trouble starts. So how do these phosphates sneak into our pristine aquariums? Turns out they're coming from several everyday sources. One, your tap water. Yep, your tap water might already contain phosphates. Municipalities sometimes add them to prevent pipe corrosion. Two, your fish food. This is a big one. Fish food, both uneaten and digested waste, is packed with phosphorus that breaks down into phosphates. Three, decomposing stuff. Think about it. Uneaten food, dead leaves, fish poop, all that organic gunk at the bottom of your tank, it all decomposes and releases phosphates. Four, aquarium additives. Believe it or not, some aquarium products like pH buffers and even some fertilizers contain phosphates. Always, always check those labels. And lastly, substrate or decor. It's less common, but some substrates or rocks can actually leach phosphates too. Okay, so phosphates are everywhere. Why are they a problem? Well, the main issue is algae. Think of phosphates as a super fuel for algae. Too many phosphates and bam, you got an algae explosion. And algae isn't just ugly. It can block light, preventing your plants from growing. It can deplete your oxygen, especially at night, which can stress out your fish. It can mess with your water chemistry in severe cases, it can compete with your plants by stealing their nutrients, and basically, it's just a pain. Alright, so we know the problem, let's talk prevention. Stopping phosphates before they become a headache is way easier than dealing with an algae bloom. Here's how to keep those phosphate levels low. 1. RODI water. If your tap water is high in phosphate, switch to reverse osmosis or deionized water for water changes. It's like purified water for your tank. 2. Feed sparingly. Don't overfeed your fish. Only give them what they can eat in a few minutes. Less food equals less waste, which equals less phosphates. 3. Good filtration. A good filter, kept clean, is essential for removing organic waste. 4. Regular water changes. Your best friend in aquarium keeping. Water changes dilute phosphates and remove them before they build up. 5. Gravel vacuuming. Suck up that detritus during water changes. It's phosphate city down there. 6. Plant power! Healthy, growing plants are your allies. They use up those phosphates as they grow. Plant your tank up. Uh-oh. Phosphate levels already high? Don't panic. We can take them out. Here's your phosphate busting toolkit. 1. Water changes. Aggressive. Ramp them up. Do larger, more frequent water changes to quickly dilute those phosphates. 2. Phosphate Remover Media. These are your secret weapon. They're specialized filter media that binds to phosphates and removes them from the water. Think of granular ferric oxide or GFO, aluminum oxide, or resin-based removers. They're super effective. Keep gravel vacuuming. Don't slack on those gravel vacs. So how do you know if you even have a phosphate problem? Well, test your water. Phosphate test kits are cheap and easy to use. Here are some general target levels to aim for. On planted tanks, a little phosphate is okay for plant growth. Aim for maybe 0.5 to 1.5 parts per million, but still avoid for excess algae. General freshwater tanks, you want it to be as low as possible to maybe even undetectable. Ideally under 0.25 parts per million, definitely under 0.5. And on our reef tanks, we want it super low as well. Near zero is best, likely less than 0.03 parts per million, and even lower for some corals. So there you have it. Phosphates aren't aquarium villains, but keeping them in check is crucial for a happy and healthy tank. By understanding where they come from, and taking preventative measures, and taking them out when we need to, we can make sure to maintain a crystal clear tank with happy aquatic friends. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about phosphates or share your own tips for keeping them under control. Thanks for watching and happy fish keeping.